putting up a bigger antenna in a better spot. It's an Antron 99. It's what most CBers use. One more bag of 80 pound concrete, quick creed, should hold it in place. I'm using a 4x6 pressure treated 4x, um, a uh, 16 foot long 4x6. Pressure treated at that. And then I'll clamp the, the pole all the way up. It's also got a sleeve like a flagpole does. So uh, we were able to get it 20 feet with just two of us into the hole without any problem. So hopefully maybe we might need a third person but we'll we'll get it done and this thing will pick up good i've already checked the swore on it the swr it was 1.1 it was 1.0 on channel one and and 1.0 on 40 so uh, that's good that's not bad that's good well we're all finished with the project um the antenna's up it's on a 30 foot pole and so that puts the top of the antenna at 45.5 feet. It's a, it's a Solartron um, A99 antenna with ground plane kit. I uh, used a 4x6 post. It's buried two feet in the ground. And it's got, a, it's got four bags of 80 pound concrete in there. I put a couple of braces in the side. I used thick cable, RG213 cable. So let's, uh, we'll, scroll up, we'll scroll up the camera here and take a, take a quick peek at it before the sun comes out and gets really bright and gives me a sunburn. Okay, let's go up, 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 up. It looks like it's in the sky. When I first installed this, it was really picking up the skip. It was picking up all over the place. Now I'm not picking up nearly as much. Let, let me let me zoom, get the camera a little closer and show you how I put it in the ground. That'll be lots of fun. If you want to do this, and this kind of tells you how to do one like this, but putting this 16 foot long 4x6 up there, basically you're making a self-supporting tower. And then you just use pipe straps to clamp it down. So you can see all that concrete that's in there. And then I used a, PV, a PVC pipe for a sleeve. Like, just like a flagpole. And then we use these here. Nine of these pipe clamps. And on the inside it looks like rubber. It, that's adhesive tape. Outdoor adhesive tape. 3M makes this. I put two, two layers in that in there. And that grabbed the... So that grabs a hold of the pipe. And it won't move around. Makes it solid. All the way as we go up. I just taped it there at the top. Now we're going to slowly scroll back down. <clears throat> I used three 10 foot sections, so that's 30 feet of pipe. And you're not going to lift that up with two or three people. It's too flimsy and too heavy. So what you're going to have to do if you do it like this with the sleeve down here, you're going to have to put one single 10 foot section inside the sleeve down here. And, and then you're going to have with two people you can lift up the 20 foot section with the antenna on it with no problem one person on the ground one person on the ladder then when you get it up there then it, it, it's really best to have three people and then have another person come up and hold it on the other side as you get it up and then you put you put these temporary pipe straps on it and don't screw them down all the way just put a couple of them on there so it won't fall down and then if you have the third person lift the pole, the 20 foot pole up from the bottom, straight up through the loose pipe clamps, you can set it on top of the 10 foot pole that's in there and then take a pipe wrench and tighten it down. You just have to be careful not to bundle up the cable at the top because that's what happened to me, but we got it straightened out. But that's really the only, without having a, a, a lift uh, or like a cherry picker or a scissor lift, something like that, that's really the only way you can do it. Have two or three people to make it safe and and lift it up that way because you're not going to get all 30 feet up at one time only 20 feet it makes a big difference at 20 feet it, it's still solid enough and light enough to get it up there 
It's still heavy, mind you, but it's light enough to get it up there. And, and that's really what we're dealing with here. Let's do a radio check. Um, Papa Bear is going to be in on the base unit, and I'm going to stand out here in the tall grass and hope the snakes don't get me. And we're going to see if we can do a radio check and see if it works. See if we can hear it loud and clear. Okay, just a few seconds. Wait a few seconds and I'll be back. The lighting, the lighting might be a little off back here in the woods because it's shade and that sun's starting to beam down. But I've got my handheld Midland here. And also, if you use one of these handheld radios, see this antenna? I don't know if you can see that, but that thing's about three foot tall. It's the old kind that you had back when you were a kid, but it triples the range on these things because the little rubber duckies that come with them, they just don't do a very good job. You just don't get up. You're lucky if you can talk across the street with the rubber duckies. But you can, you can push a half mile, maybe even a mile with these, these long antennas like this. Okay, I'm on. Papa, Papa Bear is sitting at the base station. I'm going to contact him and see if we can hear him. Are you ready? This here's a little Dutch boy calling out for Papa Bear. You got you got your ears on? I'm here, little Dutch boy. Yeah, um, how's the weather in there? It's kind of warm. It's kind of warm? It's kind of sunny back here. Well, we got a good copy on it, so the folks at home thank you. I'm here, little Dutch boy. Over and out there. Keep your feet dry. And you gotta pull that big boy all the way back down. We're down here in the woods, we're kind of in a valley, so it done pretty good. Um, well, let me get out of the woods now. The chiggers are starting to attack me. I don't like it when the chiggers get on me. It really doesn't feel good. They think I'm made out of honey. But I'm not, never have been.